controversial development proposal in central Harlem has shifted gears in a major way. The developer was denied his request to rezone the land on 145th Street earlier this year. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell explains how the mixed income apartment complex is about to become a big rig parking lot. This busy block had been bracing for a building filled with more than 900 mixed income apartments and a green energy district. But facing pushback on the amount of deeply affordable housing available, 145 developer Bruce Teitelbaum put the brakes on his big tower and turned it into a truck depot set to open Monday where drivers can idle their rides and step inside. It takes two to tango and we have heard nothing from the local council member. Uh, in months. Title Bomb says he's simply fulfilling a different need without rezoning requirements. This will afford them an opportunity to park in a safe, secure location close to where they need to be. Um, and it works for them, and it works for us. But the community says it doesn't work for them. City data shows Central Harlem has the highest childhood asthma rate in Manhattan. Neighbors like Land Use Chair Karen Dixon says we won't see the effects of the extra exhaust until it's too late. It raises the questions about, you know, how much do you really care about the residents of this community? This is not what Harlem needs, not what Harlem deserves, and not what we intended to do. Isn't this the extreme opposite of a green district? It is. It is, Jesse. In all fairness, during this process, people knew that there was a possibility that if we could not build affordable housing here, we'd have to pivot, repurpose the site, and do something that was viable for us. Councilmember Kristen Richardson Jordan did not respond to requests for comment, but tweeted her support instead for four affordable housing developments in East Harlem. The community board chair there wishes there were more mixed use options like 145. Having those, those economic bands in place gives upward mobility for the next generation because they can see uh, what they can achieve later in life. We wanted to be here today with you, Jesse, talking about affordable housing and jobs and youth empowerment, not about trucks. So is this just a dream deferred? Are you going to try again? We are currently and presently planning on going forward with our plan. However, I never say no to anyone. Use different sets of ears to listen and compromise in that it's two ways. Until then, Teitelbaum keeps on trekking. In Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News.